until now adventure lovers who have wanted to get well off the beaten track have been a bit of a quandary. The problem is a lot of the toys they want to play with, mountain bikes, trail bikes, kayaks, etc., won't necessarily fit in their four-wheel drives. And the toy haulers that are around are usually big things, one and a half tons wide, fat, tall, and they won't go behind their four-wheel drives to where they want to get them. Now we've got a solution. It's called the Quokka. The Quokka is a one-ton, all-aluminium toy hauler about the width of a, a normal four-wheel drive that'll go pretty well most places you'd want to take it. And the man behind it, the brains behind the idea here, is Andrew Kovach, who's a director of Ritter Australia, four-wheel drive specialist in Land Rover. Andrew, this is a great toy. Thank you. Um, you must have had fun uh, coming up with it. Where did the genesis of the idea come from? Well, I can't take all the credit. Uh, the manufacturers who are specialists in aluminium fabrication, they, they're avid campers and they've done a lot of um, camping themselves. And they've got young families that have been growing up over the years and as they've been going places, they need to take more and more toys. Yeah. So they thought to themselves, I can't keep making these small trailers. We have to come up with something big and, uh, and manoeuvrable. And that's how the idea came about. So uh, a proper toy hauler has to actually be a home away from home as well as somewhere to all the things you want to take and uh, right. this one ticks the box as well. How many people can you sleep in this? Well inside the actual camper you can sleep comfortably four people um, and then you've got the optional room at the back which you can fit another two so up to six people if you really need to. Andrew this is uh, this looks a fantastic setup. Uh, how long does it take you to get uh, the whole thing erected like this? Well as you saw Michael I think it was about 10-15 minutes so it's uh, very simple and uh, very easy a great kitchen. We see slide outs that come straight up which means that you're, you're out in the elements at the far extremity but this one hugs the side of the van. Who, whose idea was this? It's my idea but the designer's execution. He's got the brains, I've got the ideas. <laughs> so you've got a two burner stove, uh, you've yep. got uh, actually you've got water that comes out of this front little hatch. Uh, That's right, little hatch, put it on a hose so it's, uh, you can go to the kitchen with or you a, can walk away. With a hundred litre water tank? 110. 110 litres? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And one of the things I found really interesting about the Quokka is it's got no actual wall framing at all. It's no. all aluminium. That's right. Um, How does that work? It's made of composite aluminium. So you've got um, two sections of aluminium, the outer and the inner, and then inside you've got uh, very high density insulation. So it's very strong and very stiff. Well inside the Quokka is a pretty good place to be, whether it's hot or cold. If it's hot, all this ventilation around the pop top roof, windows that open, double glazed windows incidentally that open on both sides and of course beautiful breeze coming through across the queen size bed up the, up the head end. And the lounge here where uh, we're sitting on folds back against the walls to allow all the room for the bikes, toys, whatever you want to put in. Or these are two single beds so it's a very versatile unit. And you've got power points inside, 12 volt points and LED lights uh, yeah, dimmable as well. Dimmable? <laughs> oh, from a remote control, from no doubt. From a remote control, yeah. yeah. Yes, there uh, seems to be a lot of storage, those pods beside the bed, and even under the bed, I gather, there's a lot of storage. Yes, it's, uh, it's actually big enough to put in a broom, but I normally put in the, the, uh, the canvas, the awnings, and some of my recovery equipment as well. The other thing that's clever about the Quokka is it's got air suspension. Not many camper trails have air suspension. And the beauty of this is it can carry up to 800 kilograms of load, so th that means even a small quad bike could go in here. And when you're fully laden with all your gear and your toys, what you do is you then pump up the air suspension to maintain the, the full suspension compliance over rough roads. And Andrew was telling me the other day he actually took a dozen eggs across a ploughed paddock and didn't break any. I'm really impressed with the Quokka. It's beautifully made, lightweight and a great design that you can really take into the bush where a four-wheel drive might go. And even if you don't have all the toys that uh, it can obviously carry, bikes, kayaks, etc., you can take the whole family. It'll sleep up to six with the rear room attached and that's more than most camper trailers. At around $55,000, it's very competitively priced in this market and offers things that some of its rivals don't.